All right, besties. This bikini really is so janky, bro. I need to sell it for something. All right. All right, besties. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, if not, welcome back. Okay, wait, no. All right, hi, besties. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Brianna Chanel. Um, I'm a current pending esthetician. I will be a master esthetician, yeah, by summer 2024. So respect on my name. A blogger, a blogger, and I like to make lifestyle videos, just like rants and stuff like that. So yeah, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Today is really fun because I'm gonna set up everything for my spa. Um, and this is a process that like literally brick by brick, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself for the way that I just like dove back into something that I love and I've been very dedicated and very serious about it. And it's been very uh, fulfilling for me in life and just giving me a, a new type of like spark of joy and sense of purpose and direction. So um, thank God for that. But yeah, today's video is gonna be um, all about everything that I ordered from my spa. And after I show you guys everything that I got, I'm not gonna show y'all me setting up. You can follow me on TikTok for like a little montage, but I will show you everything that I got. I'll explain where I got it from. The links will be below. And um, yeah, that's the purpose of the YouTube video today. So let's get to it. boxes out so I can show y'all what I got for my at-home spa um and then I'll probably like insert a little time lapse of me setting things up actually you know you can follow me on TikTok just Brown Chanel and um yeah all right so first things first I got my bed and my steamer those are the two things that I got out the way first um I'm the type of person that just believes in like pay the biggest cost first if you can if not, work your way up to it. But all of the stuff that I'm getting is also starter equipment. I don't plan to have this equipment once I make a certain dollar amount or once I'm bringing in a certain um, amount of clientele per week. I wanna upgrade everything to get better quality stuff. But for now, we move. So I got my bed and my steamer first. This is the steamer. The color thing for my spa. Pink, gray, and white. Pink is a very happy and tranquil color. White is very pure, um, and gray is very wide and trustworthy. So I just wanted to put those colors together. It started out as pink, black, and white. That's a little basic. Let's see the steamer portion. Also came with a magnifying lamp. Mine's is five time mag, okay. Period. Five time magnification. It also has a ring light on it. But I also have a ring light that I'm using, so that's extra lighting support. And then all the pieces to put it together. Um, again, everything that I purchased for my spa will be in below. The rolling wheels and instructions. Everything that I purchased for my spa will be linked below. I am not going to do setup in this video just for like time purposes. Um, this will be a series of setting up skin tax spa. That is the name of my at home SD business, Skin Tax. And I'll explain the name behind it. In another video, I'm not going to explain it today. 
But this will be a series of like um, seven up to ten tax spot. I don't know how many parts it will be, but there will be as many parts as long as it takes. So. <laughs> Our in-depth videos. I don't know. They'll probably have up to like ten parts because there's so many components to a spa, like cleaning supplies, back bar, uh, what type of wax I use, all of that good stuff. There are going to be a lot more videos to come. So stick them around. Subscribe. Come back early. See what I'm up to. This is my bed. Folds in half. Can carry it one hand if I'm feeling she hawk. Let's try some lifts. Two. That's all I got for y'all. Okay. Um, little trash can. You don't want to have a big old trash can because you don't want to have your trash like overflowing. My sheets for my spa bed are also pink, but a more neutral pink, more soft. I don't, I don't want to have like every, like bubble gum pink is not the vibe. So I got told this one. A Pumi bodysuit, Amazon brand. I won't say a brand, but Amazon brand, but I found on Amazon. This is gonna be my uniform. If you're wondering why I didn't pick scrubs, it's because scrubs are not, they're not like the most comfortable thing in the world. They're not uncomfortable, but it's just, I like to be cute. I don't feel cute in scrubs. Don't feel confident in scrubs. I, I don't really like scrubs. I'm not a nurse. <laughs> it's not my, that's not part of my ministry. Now, if I worked in a spa and that's the uniform, then that's the uniform, but maybe this is my spa. So while I'm starting out, I'm doing body suits, drop socks, and cute little clogs. I will try this on in the next video after I set everything up so I can give y'all like a tour. That'll be part two. Part two, I'll set, I'll have everything set up and I'll give y'all a tour and I'll be in uniform. There's that. Next box. Ooh, I just bought them all out here. My next box. I, did y'all see me do that with scissors? Don't do that at home. Don't do that, okay? This is mine. Oh, I guess to show me that I'm crooked. Yeah, I'm gonna just adjust it to catch it. But it's cool that your phone lets you know that it's uneven. It shows like a little white line. If the line is white, it's uneven. When the line goes yellow, that means it's balanced. This is also for my bedding. So I did pink sheets, a gray, um, a gray Sherpa, and I'm gonna do a white waffle knit blanket as well. My hand towels. I got a pack of twelve. These are gray. Um, I wouldn't opt for like white or anything of that sort unless you can afford to consistently purchase those because once white stains, it's kind of hard to get them out. Um, so I would go for just like really neutral colors or like darker colors to kind of help avoid a dirty look. Your towels are gonna be clean because you need like, you shouldn't be using dirty towels. But if you know that you just finished your laundry or that you just finished cleaning them and they don't look clean, you can't tell somebody like, oh, I just finished washing them. It's like, girl, you need to wash them again. So I went for this little dark gray and also a nice little contrast up against the pink blush blanket and the gray shirt. Next box. Facial sponges. I got these little flower shaped facial sponges. This is how I plan to remove um, facial cleanser. I won't always use a towel. So this is when I'm doing the cleansing portion of a facial, this is what I plan to use to take the cleanser off. What the hell? Oh no, I want my money back for this. This is supposed to be my towel warmer and it looked a lot bigger Oh my. What am I warming in this? Washcloth? Boy. Child. Boy. I'm just going to put that to the side. 
I don't even play them type of games. I don't know what the fuck that is. I might just keep that for my own little personal washcloth though. I ain't, let me act, not act too snooty. That's a nice little luxury to add to your morning. But that is not, that's not for no damn spa. Let me find out I gotta get a microwave up in this. My waxing kit, okay. The waxing kit I got is really cute. I don't plan on offering um, mini waxes. I did accidentally put on my cards that I will be offering body waxing. But just to like practice to see if that's what I wanna do. I might feel like it's something I don't wanna do and I turn out to really like it. So I said I would try it first before I knock it. I only got 100 of those business cards from Canva for $22. Um, you can use the link below to sign up for Canva as well. <laughs> I get a small little commission from that, but I mostly got it. I got a wax pot, a wax warmer of this size, um, mostly because I plan to do facial waxing. So this is the wax warmer. And it's just a cute little, it's just a cute little one too. This is the size of the, the cup that the wax will go in, which is more than enough to do like one to two clients or maybe one full body wax and some facial wax in. But definitely more than enough to do multiple facial waxes a day. This little knob is what turns it on, turn it off. It has a little digital LED once it's plugged in that will show you the temperature. This had really good reviews on Amazon, said that it was good for you just to start. I also didn't want to get a really big wax warmer because when I go to take my state board, I have to bring my own wax warmer and I'm not lugging no dual wax warmer that is just really chunky and clunky. So I got this cute little thing, mostly for that. Um, what I really do like about it, that, I, that price I know all paying because I ordered it separately. Everything else I ordered together. That was this is the wax warmer is twenty two ninety nine, and it came with the wax warmer. It came with some popsicle sticks of different sizes. They have medium and small, and then it came with some hard wax beads. They have the yellow ones, and they say that they're best for chest and back because they target both thick and thin hair. And then they have these pink beads that are best for face and eyebrows because they target thin and fine hair. I will use these on myself and see what they give. So if y'all want a video of that, let me know. You really don't have to let me know. I kind of just need to do it anyway. So you'll get a video of that. Yeah, I'm really pissed about this towel warmer. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. How is a hand towel supposed to fit in here? How? 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 Who said that? Who said that? And when I looked at the, oh, maybe I just, it's me. Maybe it's me. Because when I looked at it online, it was given full. Like what? Oh. Am I slow? Oh, you are a little slow. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go slow. Okay. So my hand towels, let's see if one fits. They're all right, also like pre-folded. Usually I would fold them the long way, like this. This is how I like to fold my towels. I like to fold them in half. Well, this is how I'm, used to doing it and from what I'm learning in school. So in half, vertically, in half again, vertically. Then I take a finger and I'll start, and I'll wrap around that one finger, then two, and then I'll wrap around again and again and again until it's nice and small. Um, this might be a good enough size to start with because I only plan 
I'm only taking clients between certain times and I'm only expecting a certain amount of traffic, you know, per day. I don't see myself going through more than two, three clients max a day that I do offer services. Mm. Can't do nothing with you, Bobby. Let's see if I try to wrap it the other way. That one towel alone took up a lot of space. So let's see if I try to wrap it the other way. They came pre wrapped like this. Maybe I should go like this. And half, then down, then half again vertical. These are just bulky. Hand towels in general are just bulky, so it's only the soap smell you're gonna get it. That might be better. Okay, so if I wrap it this way, I can probably put about three to four in there. I like the feel of these hand towels, kind of. I might return the towels and go for something smaller, but I'll, I'm, I won't complain about the, the towel warmer until I actually put it to use and I see what it gives. Won't cast any judgment, but yeah, the size of that kind of threw me off. It's also giving me flimsy and not very durable, so I don't plan to have that for long. My gown for my guests. My gown for my guests is just really baby pink. I wanted something a little bit more pastel, but it's still cute. I think that pink is cute up against any and every skin tone. That's why I like it. It's such a universal color. No one looks bad in a certain tone of pink. So yeah, go for the snap buttons so you don't have to worry about accommodating your guest body size. Snap buttons will fit all sizes. Headbands. I'm not gonna open these just yet because I don't need to. You can see the headbands. It's pretty good. I like that they have like that really good spa type texture to them. Spa look. I won't say texture because I haven't them. They all will think I'm a liar. Let's see what's this. Oh, I got me a new. I did get me a new clipboard. I don't have to use my one from school. Oh. Definitely need a clipboard for your client intake form. This one is super cute. It's clear here. You can put papers on the inside of the front and papers in the back. So when I take my clients, my client intake form, I'll have it printed. I send my client intake form um, I send my client intake form via email. That way, once my client gets here, it's not so much of going through the form as opposed to going over the form and gaining consent and, you know, discovering or working on a treatment plan for them. But for whatever reason, if a client doesn't, it's fine. It's just something that I like to do to save them time and to avoid a whole lot of paperwork once they get here so that we can get more so into their service and get them relaxed. But um, how I plan to use it, client intake form will go on top. Once I review it with them, okay, blah, blah, boom. And then at the end of it, I'll put it in here. They have two portions. Let me just open it. There's this portion which I won't leave anything in unless it's like flyers or coupons or business cards. And then there's the back portion where I would put the client intake form once I'm finished with it so that it can go into their treatment record. Almost done, I think. Oh, that's it. Um, No, that's actually it for everything that I ordered. I boy is it expensive opening a spa because i swear i've spent no nah, i haven't really spent that much i probably spent that around 350 maybe 400 i think a good number for starting an at-home spa is like 1500 
That sounds like a lot of money. I understand that. But if this isn't something that you're passionate about, then, you know, duh, don't do it. But I'm very passionate about this. So spending $1,500 on my business, um, it would not be the first time that I've done it. But I really thoroughly believe in this business this time around. So I'm down for 100 I got another band to go. I'm building my spa brick by brick. That's how we're going to do these um, videos piece by piece and parts by parts. So that'll be the end of part one. Let me just try my bodysuit on so y'all can so y'all can see something. I don't want to though because I'm still I just got finished cleaning and setting all this stuff up and I haven't showered just yet. So actually I'm not gonna do that. Y'all just gotta come back for part two. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, all the products are linked below um, for your convenience. Every item is separate and labeled so you can pick and choose at your own will. I do have a SD supply list um, that you can use to shop if you want to support me, but I'm going to make an extra SD supply list for anyone that's interested in becoming an esthetician, currently in esthetician school, or looking forward to going to esthetician school. That way you can kind of have like a base of supplies that you'll need to get started. Um, like I said, I plan to spend around $1,500 for my spa and that includes like literally everything that I need, including back bar stuff. So I'm going to work really hard to make sure that I keep the budget within $1,500. And again, you can get everything piece by piece. I am not licensed until maybe late February, early March, because I am still in school. So right now, the best thing for me to do is to get it piece by piece, as opposed to try to jumble everything together. It also just fits my budget. I understand that things are expensive, times are hard, everyone has bills. So I do wanna be mindful of everyone's budget and I will do my best to leave it within the $1,500 range, no more than $2,000 max. But again, piece by piece and brick by brick. So now that I have everything open, um, it's time for me to go ahead and do my little time lapse of setup. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at just Brianna Chanel so that you can keep up with my daily content. And I'll see you all next week for part two of a tour of my spa so far. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and bye.